What's up everyone? Thunderbob here and I'm checking out some more VR tonight. This is Descent Alps. This is a skiing game. I've actually got some experience with VR skiing and real skiing for that matter. Uh, I played through Powder VR, a good chunk of it, and you can see some videos of that on my channel. This is a game built for the Quest 2. This is a native Quest game, not running on PC VR. So I'm gonna see how this compares to Powder VR. Looks like by default I've just got the first skis available. You can unlock the other ones. Looks like you only have one route to start with. Tutorial basic skiing. So let's see. Let's see how this compares. I know this is supposed to be a little bit more of like a rhythm kind of experience. Welcome to the tutorial. All rookies are required to complete a training course before they receive their ski pass. Pay attention, your survival depends on it. Okay. You should swing your arms in a punting motion to get going from a standstill. However, punting is not necessary once skiing downhill. Okay. Let us start with the basic motion of making turns. Think of your body as a joystick. You lean or step in the direction you want to go and try to avoid rotation. Match the green arrows. Great, enough of that. It's time to hit the slope. Our best ski instructor will guide you through the training course. Follow on the tail of the instructor. Use the motion control that we just practiced. Feel free to look around and enjoy the view. Your gaze first, is not directly controlling the skis. My first attempt at skiing in real life. It's, uh, it's different than powder. So powder VR is more like you've got like a rudder in front of you, a virtual rudder based on your hand placement. Um, I guess this is similar, but it feels maybe a little smoother than powder VR. Follow on the tail of the instructor. Use the motion control that we just practiced. Feel free to look around and enjoy the view. Your gaze is not directly controlling the skis. So like where you're looking does matter a little bit more, I think, in powder. The skis will drift back in the direction your body is facing. You can change direction by rotating your whole body. Initialize the turn by shifting your body weight and then continue rotating your body to face in the new direction that you wish to ski. Use this technique to follow on the tail of the instructor. Okay, so you do have to like turn your whole body at times. The rhythm gate is the main obstacle in Descent Alps. Your primary goal is to break the ribbon by passing between the two gateposts. Clear the small slalom course coming up ahead. That's not too hard. So the thing I was laughing about, the first Crouching time I went and skiing... turning at the same time will carve the skis, allowing you to make sharp and fast turns. Oops. Uh, I have never been skiing before. I went with a church youth group trip, and um, a, a girl took me up The rhythm and said, gate hey, is the main obstacle you know, in Descent Alps. The best way to learn... Your primary goal is to break the ribbon by passing between the two gateposts. Clear the small slalom course coming up ahead. I'm gonna have to like duck here a little bit. Yeah, that's smooth. Looking uh, good. Just a few more hills until we reach the bottom of the valley. Okay. Enjoy the ride and take this time to experiment with controlling the skis. So okay. Girl... The race is on. Stop talking. Uh, you know, I didn't like the very basic, like, hey, French fry pizza. Those are the two moves you need to know. And um, and then she's like, "Hey, why don't you follow me up? I'll, I'll show you the ropes." I'm like, sure. I don't know anything, but I'll take the ski lift up to like the intermediate course. And um, she get off the ski lift and basically just proceeded to like go really, really fast and not tell me anything. And I'm stuck going like straight down and there's a sheer wall to my right and I'm like, I don't know how to slow down. I don't know how to like 
turn. I just like slam my pole into the side of the hill and I go s flipping down about, I don't know, 20, 30 yards and hurt my leg. And uh, yeah, that was fun. This looks like you unlock tracks as you go along. Illuminated race track. Advanced skiing tutorial. I don't want the tutorial, I want an actual race. Let's start with easy. Alright. So right off the bat, I gotta say, like, the presentation is quite nice. Like, yeah, I feel like the graphics are a little bit more simplistic compared to Powder VR. They're, like, more stylized, though. And I think it works for this game. Like, they each kind of have their own thing going on. But I, I kind of like them both for different reasons. Like, Powder Beer is going, I think, for a little bit more realism. Where this is going for, like, kind of like an arcade kind of, uh, Almost like, I think they describe it as, like, a, a rhythm game. Like a skiing rhythm game. And I think there's a place for both of those games in the world. I mean, this is almost just a couple of minutes of this game, but I think it, it looks, even though the quest to hardware is so much more limited, it looks and runs quite nicely. Like, there's clearly some alias thing, like the resolution, I think, is a little lower. Um, and there's not as much. One thing I do like about Powder is, um, ooh, Rhythm Race. It has, uh, kind of like Hot World, where it's like you can do a race, or, um, you can kind of just, like, launch on, on a slope and, like, go wherever you want. I feel like I'm going on these the wrong direction. I think it just did restart me. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't do that. Well, my cats are freaking out. Okay. Let's try this again. So like it kind of shows me where it wants me to go. I feel like I wish these were, um, like, horizontal instead of vertical, kind of. Like, there's not a lot of forgiveness in hitting these things. Thank you. 
there's a stage in powder theater where you launch a helicopter onto like a peak at night and it feels really really cool this doesn't quite hit that but you're also you know the hardware in this thing is vastly different from the hardware on my computer so like i gotta give him props for even getting this to run let's go back to town yeah so this is what they consider the town so like powder does have more of like a cool hub world you also have skiing snowboarding and a wingsuit so it's a uh, they're, they're different things i think they're going for different things this is definitely more of an arcadey kind of experience landslide let's try that Each level does feel pretty different, though, in this game. Whereas in Powder, I felt a little bit of repetition. Like, there's a lot of courses, but some of them are not distinguished very well. Okay. and learn to use the, the rhythm to your advantage. I guess let's check that out real quick. Advanced skiing techniques. Let's do it. Let's do it. To achieve liftoff, simply extend your body, straightening your legs. Similarly, the skis are planted firmly on the slope by crouching down. Vertical motion is useful for initiating jumps, landing jumps, and gaining oh. traction for powerful turns. Match the green arrows. Okay. Off we go! I want to jump. Nice. Jump clear of the red barriers. Straighten your body to jump. I failed that one. On Powder VR, there's jumping, and I think there's a way you can do it, either with a button press or with like actual body movement. I think I like the button press better. I definitely... Music and rhythm play a crucial role in Descent Alps. Rhythm gates, rings, and obstacles all spawn and intersect your path on rhythm cues. Clearing gates and collecting rings refills your stamina. High stamina makes you fast and agile, while low stamina has the opposite effect. Stamina is gradually depleted as you go. If your stamina reaches zero, it's game over.
Okay. Now what? Rhythm rings can spawn after successfully clearing a rhythm gate. Collect rings by hitting them head on or by striking them with either ski pole. Go ahead. Collect a couple of rings. That's one of those things. Rhythm right. rings give a large boost in stamina and speed. They are crucial for your success in Descent Alps. I thought I was playing Sonic for a minute. Rhythm gates have a sweet spot indicated by a marker. Hitting the sweet spots will start a combo chain. The chain is built by hitting each consecutive sweet spot. Oh. Try to build a sweet spot combo. So there's a little bit more strategy. Fantastic work. Now continue to the end of the slope to be awarded your advanced ski pass. Not so good at this stuff. I'm a big fan of like old school games. Nintendo 64 was a pretty formative console for me, not my first, but maybe the first one that I was really like deeply into. And I'm uh, gonna compare this to Powder VR uh, to kind of that era. I think Powder VR is like 1080 snowboarding. I feel like Descent Alps might be uh, more what you're looking for. So, very different games, but I want to try that. And then we're done. Go to normal. But I think they both have merit. You know, I haven't put a huge amount of hours into either one of them. This is maybe. 30 minutes in this game, and I played a couple of hours of Powder VR. That's a game I need to jump back into. But I don't think you can go wrong with either of these right now. I'm enjoying it. This is a $10 experience on the App Lab. And at the moment, this is quite enjoyable. Oh. Okay, on normal, you can actually uh, lose enough to restart. Good to know. I feel like easy is kind of just that I want to chill out and just ski. I don't have to pay attention too much, but it's kind of like in Beat Saber, you know, where you have like the modes you can fail on and the modes that you can't. Okay. Alright, I gotta bend down. Definitely, um, the geometry, the levels, the graphics in this game is more simplistic. You know, the trees are basically just triangles. The buildings are very simplistic. The architecture, the geometry, it's, it's limited by the Quest hardware, but it's got a very cool stylized look. I think it works for the game. I think when you're moving fast, like you don't even notice kind of the, the low points. Um, and Powder VR requires a ridiculous computer to run it on a higher end headset. Like I've got a 3080 and it barely runs at the highest settings. So that's another thing to consider. I'm gonna end the game here. 
Uh, I do want to say I enjoy this quite a bit, and I will probably play some more uh, over time. If, uh, if you enjoy this game, you can check it out on the Quest App Lab. And if you like this video, why don't you consider subscribing? I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you once again, and have a great night.